हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल फोर्स ई लर्निंग नेक्स्ट वन इज द डायफ्रैक्शन रिगार्डिंग वी हैव टू टाइप्स ऑफ डायफ्रैक्शन ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस दैट इज फ्रेनल्स डायफ्रैक्शन एंड फ्रान होफर डायफ्रैक्शन फ्रेनल्स एंड फ्रान होफर डायफ्रैक्शन रिगार्डिंग देम इन डिटेल वी डिस्कस इन प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड नाउ there is one more one more important point regarding this fraunhofer and fresnel diffraction here the condition b square by l the condition b square by l less than less than lambda determines the field of applicability regarding the fresnel diffraction fraunhofer diffraction and geometrical approximation means there are three points one is the fraunhofer diffraction fresnel diffraction and third one is approximation of geometrical optics so what does it mean so we know that fresnel diffraction and fraunhofer diffraction regarding them already we discussed a lot but here for third point so the approximation of geometrical optics so this point was discussed at the beginning of optics at the beginning of optics this concept was discussed there i will remind that whenever the size of the object size of the object obstacle size of the slit or size of the opening which is much greater than that of the wavelength of light in such case no bending of light takes place no spreading of light takes place no divergence of light takes place therefore under which the wave nature of light is ignored only the rectilinear propagation is taken into account based on that the geometrical optics based on that we discuss the uh, phenomena related to the light so that point is used over here so remaining we know fresnel diffraction fraunhofer diffractions but here so here the distance for what distance of the screen from the slit or the obstacle the spreading of light takes place on the screen the spreading of light to what amount of light is spreading on the screen to know that so we have to decide that distance of the screen from the obstacle or the slit so to find that approximately the spreading of light over this screen which is approximately taking so that is size of the obstacle that is almost taking the spread of the uh, light on the screen which is almost equal to size of the object if they are equating then we can decide how great the light is spreading on the screen by a binding of light whenever it is incident at the edge of the obstacle or the slit so what exactly the diffraction the binding of light which is incident on the edge of the slit or the edge of the obstacle so that binding of light which is spreading due to which so it diverges the light will spread and which is spread on the screen to what extent it is maximum or minimum or no spreading takes place so that can be decided by the distance of the screen from the obstacle that is l can decide so here the points b is the size of the object or size of the aperture or slit L is the distance between the object and the screen. This is a capital D is nothing but L. Okay. Now lambda is the wavelength of the light. Now according to so lambda is equal to positive and lambda equal to B sine theta. B is the size of the slit. Sine theta equal to lambda by B. So theta is very small. Then sine theta is equal to theta. Theta equal to lambda by B. Lambda by B. 
which is angular size of the central maximum which is indirectly giving angular size of the central maximum and also we can take tan theta from this triangle is equal to y by l so we are taking that the spreading of light for what value of the distance of the screen from the obstacle the spreading of light takes place for that purpose we are taking that y is nearly equal to the size of the obstacle size of the object or size of the slit then theta equal to by putting y is equal to b you will get theta equal to this much so these two are almost equal both are same therefore b by l is equal to lambda by b so this is l is equal to b square by lambda l is distance of the screen f indicates fresnel this is the fresnel distance for which fresnel distance for which what happens the diffraction occur the fresnel's fresnel's diffraction approach is applied for this distance means there is a spreading of light there is a spreading of light on the screen by the diffraction then in such case fresnel diffraction and fresnel diffraction approach is adopted in this case for the given separation of the screen from the object that is b square by lambda b square by lambda so therefore the same point was mentioned over here if b square by l suppose here b square by l taking this side lambda this side then we can take that if b square by l is almost equal to lambda then fresnel's diffraction is observed okay the same condition here so we are taking the reference which reference for a particular separation of the screen from the object for which the light is spreading over the screen so that spreading is that spreading of light which is corresponding to the uh, fresnel diffraction approach is adapted for which the diffraction pattern can be observed on the screen for which this is lf is the fresnel's separation of the screen from the object that is b square by lambda okay this is very clear next go for another point suppose the screen is much greater distance from the object the screen is at greater distance from the object then what happens here the spreading will be observed more greater spreading takes place and uh, the spreading of the um, fringes diffraction fringes will be observed on the screen clearly therefore under which we take here fran hofer diffraction is observed fran hofer diffraction so fran hofer diffraction approach is adopted in such case or either we can take in in terms of wavelength lambda here b square by l less than less than l less than less than lambda means here the lambda is in other way so lambda is much greater than that of the size of the obstacle very clear lambda is much greater than the size of the obstacle the diffraction occurring maximum so which is what kind of class that is fran hofer diffraction approach is adapted that belongs to fran hofer diffraction see here if size of the slit or obstacle is comparable to the wavelength of light used then fresnel's diffraction is observed so this kind of discussion already made at the beginning of starting of the of uh, optics right so suppose if the screen is very close close to the slit or uh, object what happens if the screen is very close means l is l is less than uh, fresnel's separation or fresnel's distance fresnel's distance for which the diffraction occurring and the, there is a spreading of light on the screen if the screen is less than that of fresnel distance then what happens here the spreading due to diffraction smaller comparable to the size of the geometrical approach sorry size of the beam so what happens here the spreading will decrease as the screen is 
uh, approaching or closer to the slit or object what happens the spreading spreading of light on the screen is decreasing that spreading is smaller than that of the size of the beam light beam spreading is smaller than that of the size of the light beam then what happens here no fresnel diffraction there is no frame of a diffraction at all just the approximation of geometrical optics is applied the fourth we are saying lambda much smaller than that of the b square means size of the object is greater that in terms we say that size of the object or size of the obstacle or size of the slit is much greater than the wavelength of light used then no diffraction takes place means the spreading of light on the screen which is very small comparing to size of the beam or size of wavelength of the light therefore in this case so geometrical optics is applied so rectilinear propagation of light that is taken into account by that concept we discussed um, the concepts uh, or phenomena related to the uh, optics so these are the differences it's very clear the separation of the screen is so that is for fresnel separation that lf is equal to b square by lambda then there is a spreading of light which is comparable to size of the beam so here the separation of the screen based on that for what value of the separation of the screen that is l so the spreading of light takes place on the screen which is comparing with the size of the object if the spreading takes place on the screen which is comparable to the size of the object or size of the beam then what happens here the fresnel diffraction takes place that is fresnel distance based on that reference fresnel distance then we can discuss if the screen is screen is at a greater distance which is greater than means l is greater than fresnel distance then what happens the spreading is more under which fraunhofer diffraction and fraunhofer diffraction approach is adopted that that belongs to fraunhofer diffraction is observed where fraunhofer diffraction is observed whenever distance of the screen is greater than that of the fresnel distance if the distance is uh, equal to the fresnel distance almost the diffraction will occur and spreading will be observed on the screen which is comparable to the size of the beam okay whenever l is there are three cases l is a equal to fresnel fresnel diffraction occur spreading of light on the screen which is comparable to size of the beam okay then l is less than fresnel length then what happens here so diffraction the, the spreading of sorry spreading of light on the screen which is smaller than that of the size of the beam therefore under which so uh, geometrical optics is uh, applied to discuss the phenomena related to the light so wave nature of light is ignored uh, under such conditions so this is regarding so fraunhofer fresnel diffraction and geometrical optics is applied these three conditions based on the uh, a uh, distance of the screen so indirectly we are comparing the size of the object or size of the slit with wavelength of the light used already that is another discussion we made already at the beginning of optics so either you uh, make the discussion by the distance of the screen okay so or by comparing with the size of the uh, object with the wavelength of light used both are giving the same results so this is regarding the so three types of uh, conditions that fraunhofer diffraction fresnel diffraction and the geometrical optics okay